Most photographers are spending way too much money or way too little on this little device here called the memory card. Let me talk you through what you need to know about memory cards for photographers. So the first thing you're gonna notice about these guys is the capacity. Make sure you get one that's large enough, depending on how many megapixels your camera has, you're gonna need more or less capacity. Usually they come in gigabytes. The next thing you'll probably notice is the read and the write speed, or oftentimes they're combined together. These are gonna be in a number and it's gonna be megabytes per second. Now don't get one that's too fast because it can't write any faster than your camera is able to write but don't get one too slow because then you hinder the rapid fire performance of your camera. This is oftentimes where the cards differ in price a lot is because of the speed. The faster cards are more expensive. Some people spend way too much money because they don't realize that their camera can't write that fast and other people don't spend enough money because they don't quite understand what it means. Now, there's also the read speed which affects how quickly it can copy images over to your computer. For most people this doesn't really matter too much. Now if you are a hybrid shooter you will want a card that can write video in the resolution and the frames that you want. This is usually indicated by, by a V with a number afterwards. Make sure you get a fast enough card to be able to write the frame rate and the resolution that you want in your memory card. Hopefully that helps. Most people can probably spend about $50 to $100 on a memory card and it'll be fine. You don't need to buy those $500 memory cards, but also don't buy those $5 memory cards either.